guys, it's Monica with Scrap Saturdays and I've missed you all summer. First of all, big hug to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much. I hope you're ready for a fun-filled back to scrap season as I call it. Um, I'm holding on to my camera with my hand, so if it's too shaky, I'm really sorry, but I was gonna give you a small tour of my scrapbook room so you can see what state it's in. But here in Canada, the kids go back to school this week, so it's Labor Day Monday today. And if you hear any noise in the background, it's my kids. It's kind of cold and yucky outside, and we already went for a bike ride run, but they've got a little bit of extra energy, so pardon them. Um, so my son is four and he starts school for the first time and I've got a little bit of you know the emotional mama syndrome where I'm like oh I have to send him to school my daughter is eight she's a big girl and she's starting grade three but I don't know if you've read my blog at www.scrapsaturdays.com and uh, I talk a little bit about how we had a boundary review and the kids have to change schools this year so for both of them it's a new exciting thing. I pulled out my daughter's kindergarten mini album and you're gonna have to excuse my hands and arms because my husband is still finishing our basement and blah blah blah. <clears throat> excuse me. So I made her kindergarten album out of one of these chipboards from Michaels. This just so happens to be the Studio 18 apple shaped one. Um, I used a paper collection that was, I believe, like one of those page um, collections where you can do like two or three pages. I don't know where I bought it. It's ancient and old. And uh, this is from 2007. I don't know if I did it in 2007 or later, but my son was born in 2007. So it just so happened that my daughter was starting school. I had a brand new baby. Yep, grab the tissue boxes, ladies. <laughs> so I used most of the stickers and the die cuts from the whole collection. There's my, you know, the one, two, three stamp that I just used on my uh, Graphic 45 album. That thing gets use like nobody's business. So September 2007. My daughter's name is Gabriella, so I used some glossy accents on the G on this paper. I think I traced it out with pencil. I used some glitter on the edges. I mean, this is like my first few um, mini albums. And there she is. And this is from a book. Uh, I think it was from the dollar store where you can teach your children the basics just before they go to school. I had torn it out and I used my glimmer or shimmer Mod Podge to put it down. And then this is actual pattern paper. Um, and her photo is cut down there. So this paper actually mean something because it was her workbook excuse me her work workbook that she used before she went to kindergarten this is a card for my sister-in-law and they're very sentimental loving family so they gave her a card and wow kudos to all you girls out there that do things one-handed with your cameras and she wrote down a few words for her of encouragement most of the pictures are the same in her album because, again, I had a brand new baby. I don't know, I didn't take enough first day photos. I was overwhelmed, you know the drill. So I think this, her teacher actually gave to her, but it was so neat because it came printed out like that. And uh, I put a little tag on the back and it's September 17th, 2007, junior kindergarten. You are four years old. Miss Weiser is your teacher. First day, we walked. Afternoon class, mommy cried. You loved it. And Megan's your BFF. Cried is an understatement. So again, this is outside our front door. I'm sorry, guys, if I'm going too fast with the camera. And this little one swirls around. And I just wrote, I love, I just love my puffy light pink roses. They match your, maybe I need to go back to school, I wrote. <laughs> it's funny. I haven't read this since I've opened it to show you guys. Sparkly pink backpack. Avo Sedalia bought it for you. You look so beautiful. Your uniform. I'm happy and sad all at the same time. My baby off to school. I fussy cut her there because we just made her stand in the same poses. 
This is an actual picture that she drew at that age for school. Again, this is part of that book that I was teaching her all her stuff and I wrote original 2007 Gabriella first drawing and I added it in there. This is a picture of her teacher and I hope her teacher's okay with that. She was the best teacher. And again, some more stuff, her name, her kindergarten, the teacher's name. And I used all the stickers that came with this uh, pattern paper set. Same picture. My attempt at making one of those poofy roses, I still remember I tried to do all those YouTube things and I, in the beginning I thought, well, I'm going nowhere fast, but I'm so glad that I can go back and say, this is how far I've gotten and I did try. There is an apple shaped brad in there. And that's her at the playground when I had to let her go. And the back of that has nothing. But yeah, I glossy accented the G. I tell ya. So yeah, my babies are off to school. I'm gonna recess back now as slowly as I can and I'm gonna show you what my scrapbook room looks like. I got 1,050 pictures developed at Costco. And I've listed all the events and functions. So these are how many mini albums you can expect um, this season. I'm not kidding, guys. Print your photos. I say it all the time. Here's another pile and an album that I made from Kathy Orta a long time ago and never put pictures into it. So I don't know if you guys remember. It's got flaps and folds and all sorts of a pocket here I'm pretty sure because Kathy would never leave you stranded so I'm gonna have to add pictures to that this is my new I want to say system my new challenge for myself I save the recollections sizes is what I'm keeping because I'm putting all of my new mini albums that I'm making pardon me so just hang on I can't lift the lid. I don't want to give you guys uh, nausea. But inside here is my Easter mini album that I made the gatefold one. Can I do it? Yes. So that I can display it on my new shelves that my husband's building in the basement. So if I've moved back, I scrapbook standing. And this is my drafting table that used to be my husband's best friend's father's drafting table. So it has a lot of loving uh, sentiment to it. It was all wood color and we painted it white and distressed, distressed the edges. Underneath I keep my Martha Stewart scoreboard and my Fiskars um, rotary cutter trimmer. I like it because it cuts my chipboard and that's what I save it for or when I have big mass amount of cardstock and I just want to zip through them like when I make my box of cards and stuff like that. On my desk is all my embellishments on a spice rack. These are my gathering baskets that I put all the things that I want to use for my project. Another project that I started this weekend was my husband's birthday. He always has a birthday breakfast and that's what we do. We don't have a nighttime party for him because his favorite time of the day is six o'clock in the morning and that's where we differ. But uh, so I watched Robin Stamps because I love her and I liked her inspiration on putting the ribbon and running it through my sewing machine and I made these cards and I stamped the back and I bought this Inka Dinka Doo stamp set from Walmart so I love it and then I've got my making memories tourney thing sorry guys I'm not good with names and stuff and it's just jam-packed with the things that I reach for all the time and even my drawers have like specific things. My glue gun and my husband put a power cord underneath and it links to, oh yes, for my birthday, my little new piggy um, embossing gun because my other embossing gun died. My dusty camera bag because it's been in the basement taking pictures of all the drywall process. My sewing machine pedal because it's always here so that I can bring stuff over. That's my stack. You know how many stacks I have in this room? Good God, get ready. So I've got three bay windows that I love and I face the windows. And then as we move along, I have a dress form that I copied from someone on YouTube. And if I copied from you and you're watching this, thank you, a lovely idea. And I put all of my, <clears throat> excuse me, trims and glitter stuff 
These um, laces and trims that I've got are from all around the world. I work with various people who go back home to India, to um, Iraq, Iran, Egypt, and they always say, do you want me to bring you anything, Monica? I'm like, bring me lace trim from wherever you're going. And you know what? They're so beautiful that it breaks my heart to use them, but that's where they're at. And then I have my mini album that I didn't put pictures in yet. Envelopes, another mini album that I've never showed you. Dollar store flowers, a layout. My ribbon is on a curtain rod. And then I've got the cubbies with all my paper. So then we get to the stacks. <laughs> my little garbage bin. That's Halloween, and I'll show you that in another video so that we can do a Halloween mini album. This stack is my daughter's first communion. This stack, well, it's got a Christmas album on top, but underneath it's all the paper that I wasn't supposed to buy over the summer holidays, so we won't talk about that. These are all the albums that were in the basement that I've never filled or never used. Those are the pink mats that I bought over the summer vacation that got a little bit warped from sitting in our truck when we were camping. Those are my 12 by 12 albums on the bottom corner. That's my magazine rack. That's my chipboard collection and my little boxes and things that I'm going to make projects with. On the bottom here, it's my container full of all my stamps, my wood stamps. And on the top, it's all my fluffy, beautiful yarn that I use as fibers. And then these are my loose fibers and stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. I went for a run and my throat is very flummy. Pardon me. This is all my cardstock that I keep all together. Um, this is my glue. <laughs> See, G stands for glue. These are all my glue dots and I don't know. It's so messy. I need to change things. Um, this is my projects in progress. And this is also paper that I'm hiding that I buy. That's more paper. And these are all my small six by six papers or knickknack. This is my scrap bin. There's our summer smash book we have to finish. Um, and then some more paper, some buttons. This is where I put all of my, um, Jesus, now I have no words. My punches. Oh, they just throw them all in there. And I tried to keep the instructions to some of them because I don't know about you, but I go back and forth. This is some more cardstock, but this is my, I call it my fancy cardstock because these are the neutral colors that I love to make either the background pages to my mini album or the backgrounds to my cards. This is more paper. I don't need any more paper. And this is the other side of my scrapbook room. And if I'm moving too fast, I'm sorry. So this used to be, I'm going to rotate it, so bear with me. This used to be um, the closet of this room, but now my husband built me a desk, and it's kind of my cricket cutting area, my sit down and write something area, and my printing station. And so I'm going to flip it back. You guys are doing great. And I'm going to go to the bottom. I haven't really decided what I'm going to do. These pillows are in here just because my kids sometimes come and snuggle with me. These are the brackets that we put shelving up. That's my grommet hammer. I call it the noisy basket. That's where all the noisy tools go. Those are the Michael's recollection totes where I put things by season. So I've got a Halloween one, a summer one. Um, and my 12 by 12 layouts go in here until they have a resting spot in the albums that they go to. This is my chipboard mini album. I don't know. I'm bad. I need to tidy up. I was going to feel so happy to show you my scrapbook room and now I just feel... I don't know. So it's full of mini albums in here chipboard mini albums. This is an explosion box that was never completed. And then there's my printer way on the ground. <clears throat> this is also the only spot in my house that has hardwood floor. You laugh if you could. Uh, my sister's getting married this year. So I'm in charge of making all of her invitations and that will be lots of fun. There's my compass mini ready for some photos that I printed. My Cricut 
Cricut, sorry, that I love. And then this box is my December daily, and I do those every year for maybe the last two or three years, and I love it. I'm going to, <clears throat> sorry, pardon me. I'm going to finish this up because New Year's party came and it was great and I never went back and these are fluffy stuff from gifts. I did do very well. It just looks messy. I did stick down stuff, keep all my stuff, but I will show you how I made it because it is a Cricut inspired mini and it's great. My wipes, another mat, a card from my brother that makes me smile every time I read it. Uh, my messy desk with my loose stamps that I, bad girl, never put them back. This is my little weight loss journal. And one day I think I'm going to show you guys why and how I made that. Then on this shelf, it's my stamps. Can you see that? So the drawers have all my inks and stuff. My little tray and then my other stamping inks, a box of stamps, and then my Cricut cartridges and my Gypsy. This is my dictionary. It used to be soft cover, but I embellished it and made the cover and put an M for Monica. Okay, hope you guys are still with me. Up there are all my boxes with photos and things that I need to get to. The one with the ducky has my daughter's baby stuff. And my husband has childhood photos there too. Oh, there's my sewing box that I made, the paper phenomenon. I have to put my mom's pictures there. And these are my clear totes that are my go-to um, embellishments that I use. These are like journaling cards. These are markers and fine tip stuff. These are all like binding clips and things that I would add to the binding and flowers and feathers and old broken jewelry that I save and some ribbon that doesn't fit on the thickness of my curtain spool. And then on this side, again, I'm flipping the camera, I'm sorry. It's uh, my sewing machine and it's on top of my mom's vintage sewing machine. So underneath here is my mom's sewing machine my shadow box with my little boy. His name is Augustino. We call him Gus for short. Gus in the box. The clock. My basket full of stamps. Extra cricket mats. My son's toy box. No, toolbox mini album that I have never made yet. The door into my room. This is another shadow box where I put cards that I make that are my favorite and that I display. And ironically this summer, because I haven't made any extra cards, two cards have gone missing. So I have to do more. This is my inspirational pegboard or just my, you know, where my kids come and leave me notes and things that they love. This was a wedding we went to this summer where they had a photo booth and it was so much fun. Cards that my hubby gives me my favorite pictures of us, my babies. I don't know, I just love the robot guy. Never did anything with him. Um, the place where I order some of my scrapbooking stuff. My mom, isn't she beautiful? Um, mini albums, oh, my mother-in-law's crocheted flowers. Oh, my in-laws, so beautiful. My babies again, and this is a birdcage but it's full of all my Prima flowers and my dollar 